Hi, this is Lindworth playing games while rambling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can, and they continue with Blade Runner Blind. There has been a murder at the Tyrell Corporation, so let's explore the building. One more thing. I've told you everything I know, Detective. I gotta work. These monitors don't watch themselves. Yeah, it's a tough gig. I have a couple of ways to go. I guess let's check the lobby first. Oh, okay. This is just literally the exit. So I don't really have anywhere to go but into the elevator. Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed. Not just once, but a dozen times. Tyrell engineers might forget their passwords, but what would the GravLab boys need with replicant DNA sequences and incept dates? I couldn't even begin to guess what Eisendaller's password was. Wrong again, and this time I was locked out. Tyrell security was even better than I'd heard. Okay, let's get inside, I guess. Jesus. I've seen worse, but not by much. Learn anything? You could strain him through a sieve. You spot anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Absolutely. You spot anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Absolutely. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchen. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? I'd seen more dead animals than live ones in the last 24 hours, and now it was dogs. Three of them. I thought about Maggie and nearly threw up. I'd seen more dead animals than live ones in the last 24 hours, and now it was dogs. Three of them. I thought about Maggie and nearly threw up. Obviously, he'd been killed with an explosive, and not just because he'd been plastered on the wall with a thousand strokes. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story. The killer was an expert. The charge had been big enough to do the job, but not big enough to shatter the soundproof walls of the float chamber. But I wondered why the killer didn't just shoot him. Disgusting. 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 Hmm. You spot anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Absolutely. Hmm. I think that's everything. Hmm. I do have pictures uh, that I could analyze back at the police station. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me, like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. It was a Tyrell sales brochure for the Nexus series, the kind of glossy hype that ends up littering the floor at trade shows. This one was for the new entertainment model, a comedian designed to entertain the troops off-world. Mm, yeah, and they recalled those. I, I watched a new segment on that. Messy up there, isn't it? Lagging behind again? Guza didn't say anything about me working with a partner. Oh, <laughs> in a pig's ass, Slim. No, I'm following up on my own. Could be it's linked to this Tyrell debacle. How's yours connected to mine? 
I'm still fitting the pieces together. You know the moon bus massacre that went down last month? Jeff mentioned something about it. The rogue skin jobs probably flew to Earth. And one of them is a demolitions expert, similar MO to your Vic upstairs. Hell of a coincidence. I'll call you if I find out anything more about your case. You friendly with Eisendeller? Most of the employees they see coming in morning and night, but old Marcus, I mean, uh, Dr. Eisendeller, he almost never left his lab. He afraid of somebody? I think it had something to do with the air outside and the germs. I once heard him complain about it. Smart. What was his job? Grub test chief engineer. The lab runs tests to see how a replicant would perform in different planetary gravitational fields. That kind of thing. One of the other engineers could tell you more. You know if anyone lost an earring like this one lately? Not one of the employees, that's for sure. The boss enforces a strict dress code around here. How did Eisendeller's moo moo fit in? <laughs> hey, you know, company rules only apply to the lesser mortals. How do I get in to see the big boss? You don't, unless he wants to see you. Okay. How do I make him want to see me? Well, you could call his personal assistant. Who is? Don't know, offhand. Yeah, I get the picture. You know anything about Tyrell's computer system? Security is tight as a drum, if that's what you're asking. Somebody tried to access restricted data from the terminal in Dr. Eisendeller's office. But they couldn't get in. Yeah. Looks like Dr. Tyrell keeps his files safer than he keeps his employees. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. Okay, I'll be going to the police station to analyze the photos. guy is no longer here. Mainframe and shooting range. Scanning video disc. One enhanceable image found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Tyrell Grav Test Lab. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Give me a hard copy of that. Mm, so it's his, the, the other one that he lost. <laughs> there has to be something more. Uh, on this photograph. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Mm, has to be something more... Um, on this... Uh, other than the... the earring the dog collar has a name on it 
Ricky, maybe? Give me a hard copy of that. Hmm. And how, how, is, how does that help me? Uh, That a great of a takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. Give me a hard copy of that. Oh, that's again that that, that just repeats the, the the info I already because because I found the the takeout box physically. I I'm not sure. What does it even give me? Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Go back to the Chinatown bar to to ask the guy who works there if something new has happened, or maybe he will somehow comment on the fact that I killed his cook. Hmm, it's not even there. You know who deals in insects down here? You don't want insects? They're no good companion. But fish, fish are good. I have every kind of fish for you. Blowfish, dorado, miniature sailfish. Very friendly. No thanks, I got a dog at home. Fish just as good as dog. No, my dog is real. Real? Oh, you must make lots of money. Let's get back to insects, official LPD business. Down at end of animal row, you see big green sign? We try there. Good luck with dog, friend. Hope he stays healthy. She. Yeah, I see it. This is the big green bag. Excuse me. That's how much time I give every stranger that wanders in here off the street. Sell a lot of stuff that way? I don't encourage browsers. What impresses me are people who know what they want and are not afraid to pay for it. What's the most expensive thing you got in here? Value is a relative notion. What's significant to you might be meaningless to me. And vice versa. Everything here is guaranteed. The finest, most authentic anyone can get. Ray McCoy, Rep Detect. I need to ask you. Yeah, 
I got a couple of questions for you, Captain. First one's on the house. The rest you pay for. You want chit-chat, you hire a hooker. This ain't no social club. Pour me one. Just one? One, but one good one. I didn't really want drinks. I wanted to... Pour me one. Just one? One, but one good one. Mm. McCoy, LPD. Step up, step up. Mama Isabella cooked you something special. Put a glow in your cheek. McCoy, LPD. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Questions? They always need answers. Mm, I'll buy this too from her, just because I hope it's going to make her more positively predisposed towards me. That stew's looking tasty. Fix your right up. Only dirty chinion. It put a spring in your step, man. The ladies, they be loving you. This guy work for you? <laughs> no, but I wish he do. He be one fine looking man. You sure? Never seen him before. I'd remembered him for sure. You send a lot of deliveries over to Marcus Eisendollar at the Tyrell building? Eisendollar? Oh, Eisendollar, yeah. Let me tell you, that man can't eat. Send anything over lately? No, sir. No deliveries to him no more. Not since last month. He be way behind on his bill. Not for a month, eh? At least. No more till him pay up. You may have a little trouble collecting. He's dead. Thanks for your time. Mm. Bob Surplus, Bullet Runner. McCoy, LPD. So, so I guess that's a, like an ammo store? That a 45 blaster under your coat or are you just happy to be here? You got good eyes. They ought to be. They're the only organs of mine that survived the Phobos Wars intact. Ray McCoy, Rep D-Tech. Blade Runner, huh? Jesus. How come I never heard of you? I just got assigned. Yeah, I'm kind of buddies with Davey Holden. How's he doing? Word is he's gonna be okay. That skin job must have been pretty damn quick getting by Davey like that. He's the best in the business. He'll be back on the job soon. You sell any off-world stuff, like Ender rifles? Nah, I ain't seen anything like that in years. Wish I had one, though. The Ender was a real workhorse. Good stopping power, decent rate of fire. You looking? Gonna cost you a bundle, I'm afraid. Not really. Somebody shot up Runciter's shop with one. Sucker had it coming. <laughs> I'm sure of that. Why's that? Runcid is always putting on those airs like he's better than everybody else. But he'll do anything for a buck. Sell anything to anybody. That's where I draw the line. If it's suspicious, it's out of here. Got no place at Bullet Bob's. You know anyone who might sell Ender rifles? There's one other guy around here who dips into that stuff. Got a pawn shop down the street. Goes by the name of Ezo. But who knows what the real title is. Ezo, huh? Sounds like you don't like him. 
I've been around here a long time, Ray. It always pisses me off when some dilettante sets up shop and tries to horn in on my action. How long has Ezo been around? He's brand new. He's a cold son of a bitch, too. I went over to introduce myself when he first moved in, and he practically ignored me. Said he was too busy to talk. Don't think I didn't consider kicking his ass, too. You got any decent ammo for my piece? You mean the good stuff. Because I know them police issue spitballs just don't cut it. Not these days. Yeah, I know how it is. If you want to drop a skin job, you need a little extra oomph. I got a few clips around here somewhere. If you got the chin yen for it. Okay, let's have it. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your time. Mm, okay, so I bought some special ammunition, I guess. Might be useful. Oh, th th this loops back to Rancitors. Interesting. Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was going to root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. Is he still in there? Locked. Well, I guess the answer is no. Okay, so this is this loops back here. Might I interest you in a snake over one? Not today, thanks. You know anything about insects? I regret that I do not know one, save that I feed them to my snakes. You do what? Artificial ones, of course. The safeguards in the design of my snakes would not allow them to swallow a real insect. I assume that this insect is already extinct. Uh, they all died after the war, yes. So the fakes must be pretty expensive. If bought in bulk, the price is acceptable. They do not need to eat them, of course, but the added realism is worth every penny. Have you ever seen such craftsmanship? Right now I'm more interested in the insect. Perhaps you should ask the Peruvian woman next door. She's an expert on such things and will cut a wonderful deal to friends. I need to ask you. Certainly the LPD must have better things to do than to question a humble merchant over and over again about the same things. Why aren't you out arresting criminals like that disreputable Bob fellow? Bob? He owns the armament shop up the street. He's insane, noble one, insane. He takes peculiar pleasure in agitating all the vendors around here. I cannot even go out for a shishka whoop without worrying whether Bob is going to sabotage my snakes. Careful, senor. You are poison. Scorpions? See? Finest quality. Perhaps you purchased one? I, I don't think so. They're beautiful, though. I've never seen one before. Oh, that's we do, senor. Nice looking creatures you have around here. See? Good product. Scorpio's my best work. Finest quality. Even poison. Isn't that illegal? I have permit, senor. My customers demand authenticity. This your work? Ah, the dragon. Dragon? See, I'm a subterra, dragonfly late of the American South Swampland. You sell jewelry with dragonflies? Items like that, very special significance. Very rare, senor. A state item, and most likely part of large collection. Person must have plenty of money to obtain a collection. More than I can afford. You try Hawker Circle. 
might want to trade for this. With luck, you may find. If this is from a collection, I'm also looking for the other pieces. I make you a deal. I found out where to get Dragonfly jewelry. Then you buy a piece, right? For special lady friend. You come back later. I'll do that. <laughs> you take care, chasing the dragon. Handsome man like you has lady friend, of course. All my girl cares about is food and love. Oh, how romantic. What is this girl's name? Maggie. Maggie, Maggie. Ah, Maggie, senor. It's perfect, is it not? Uh, but, but, but do I want to buy jewelry for my dog? <laughs> I, I guess I can because again, I feel like if I buy something from a ven from, from a vendor from a, from a merchant, that they are you know we tighten our sort of relationship, uh, and he is more inclined to trust me because I've already rendered him a service of some kind. It's kind of ugly, but you talk me. You hear anything yet about that dragonfly jewelry, like what I showed you before? No, senor. My friend, he's asking for me. If you come back later, maybe I know something more. Mm, but there's supposedly this crazy guy called Ezo or whatever, uh, somewhere around here. Uh, Bullet Bob was complaining about him. But I don't know where to look for him. <laughs> I guess I'll go back to the police station, talk to my boss. Maybe he has learned something new. This guy is still not here. Mm. My boss isn't here either. We get a new weapon shipment? Hmm, I guess I go uh, I will go to the shooting range to ask the guy about that. What do you know? Zero that would interest you, detective. <laughs> Main frame and shooting range. That weapon shipment just came in. You got the paperwork handy? Why? You got a pressing need to rummage through my private files? Yeah, I forgot you were keeping your lacy under things in there. Look, Jack, I just want to see what they're charging for a crate of rifles these days. Too damn much if you ask me, especially at the rate the assault teams are losing them. I guess there ain't no harm in it. We get a new weapons shipment? 
Yeah, Guzza requisitioned a couple of cases for the assault teams. Let me guess. He's planning on taking out a small city. Lieutenant's a big believer in overkill. I've gotten all I can from that. You keeping busy, pal? Nah, the place has been pretty quiet the last couple of days. Lucky Strikes, Crystal's brand. I knew she was spending a lot of time in the training maze these days, even though she'd already gotten close to a perfect score. Hmm. I don't quite know what to do now, so maybe I'll just go to sleep and talk with the jewelry lady uh, tomorrow. You keeping busy, pal? Please leave me alone. My migraine's acting up. Your floor number, please. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. Who's the best dog oh. in the whole world? Oh. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Okay, so this is the bathroom. The Tyrell Corporation today recalled the last four functioning entertainment model Nexus 5 replicants from off-world service. Dr. Eldon Tyrell, speaking at a shareholders meeting, denied allegations that the model was defective and possibly dangerous. The simple fact is that the model wasn't performing its designated function. There was one isolated incident of violence a couple of years ago, but the individual unit in question was immediately retired from service. No, the problem is far from anything sinister. The entertainment model just isn't funny. Portrait of the Sleep Deprived. I was angry with my friend. I told my wrath. My wrath did end. I was angry with my foe. I told my wrath. My wrath. Row. Crank calls were a dime a dozen in this city, and I'd had my share. Still, this guy sounded more like an English teacher than the average scumbag. If I'd been more awake, the message might have spooked me. Erase and reset. No messages. I'm in demand. Mm. Okay, I'll go back to the jewelry lady. Um... Your floor number, please. Because I don't have much of a better idea of what to do.
You hear anything yet about that dragonfly jewelry, like what I showed you before? No, senor. My friend, he's asking for me. If you come back later, maybe I know something more. Thanks for your time. Hmm. I hear you've been waving guns around on Animoid Row. Who's been telling you that crap? That lying Egyptian snake oil salesman? Hassan? That's the one. I should have popped him when I had the chance. You want to know what really happened? I wanted to get my daughter a present for her birthday, right? I bought an iguana from that crook Hassan. And the damn thing ran out of juice just two days after I plucked down a shitload of chinyin. Son of a bitch wouldn't give me a refund. So I threatened to burn down his shop. Sometimes you just gotta be philosophical about these things. That's exactly what my wife says. I heard of you. Is that right? You ain't done much. I just got assigned. Guys like you get hurt real easy. Meaning what, exactly? It ain't like you're a real Blade Runner. Not like Steel or Gaff. They get hurt sometimes, too. It's a dangerous business. Okay, I can test him, but to be honest... <laughs> even though it's my job to hunt down replicants, I don't particularly want to, so... Thanks for your time. And, and the, the last guy I tested, you know, he would, he would have still been alive, most likely, if I didn't test him. Because uh, I assume he tried to kill me because... He felt threatened. Uh, and because it was c confirmed after I killed him that he indeed was a replicant. Uh, so, so I guess when I wanted to test him, he assumed he, 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 he's going down. Uh, so he wanted to preemptively take me out. Thanks for your time. lost because messy up there isn't it I may have more questions for you later on yes sir Nothing today, uh, so I don't think I should go to bed again. Laboratory. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Mm, maybe there's something I missed on one of the pictures. For, for example, on Run this center, one. Crime scene. The, the only thing I got 
was the uh, Chinese takeout that I already uh, knew about because of the wrapper. So maybe there is something more in here. that Lucy? But, but what's, what is he, what is she doing? Like, is she being like suspended by her feet? She seems to be hanging upside down. This isn't a natural position for laying down or anything and I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking for here but that, that is a person isn't it and, and I, I think that is her you know he, he has a she has a bare mm, mm, stomach and, and those pink hair Although, maybe, because this is not an arm, this is just the, okay, I might be tripping, kind of. So, what even is that? Like, those do look like legs. Specifically the fragment over here. Oh, no, 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 no! She's actually standing! This is her head, uh, the, the, the pink hair, this is like her arm, and those, this is the skirt, uh, this is a piece of leg, uh, like a thigh, and those are the pink stockings. Uh, but again, not entirely sure what that tells me, or how that helps me. Hello there, Lucy. Give me a hard copy of that. Well, now I'm getting somewhere, I think. Uh, but to be honest, I guess I can show her photo to people and ask them if they know her, but... <laughs> Maybe there's something else. Hello there, Lucy. Hmm. Huh, maybe, maybe, maybe I can like, zoom, zoom on her sneakers. Or maybe she has any like birthmarks or tattoos uh, on her thighs. Well, if she does, the game isn't really interested in letting me know. It's some kind of insect. Give me a hard copy of that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So she had 
the same type of jewelry that he had, or maybe even that was literally hers, that being a clue that she was at that Tyrell lab. Okay, this is pretty significant. Uh, pretty significant indeed. Um, let me take a look at this photo Tyrell again. Tyrell Grav Test Lab. Maybe I can find something else that's important. Hmm. Okay, I'll let it go for now. I'll question the, the jewelry lady about the photo and maybe also some other people. Uh, like, I'm, I'm very sad that the cook is dead, because he might have known her. And maybe now that I have a photo, I could have asked about this. Mm, but this episode has been long enough, so I'm going to save and end it for now. That's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.